All right, let's come to the indications of NG tube or OG tube. When do you think the patient will need either this or this? So in real life practice, the situation you will be encountered where you start thinking about the NG tube or OG tube or somebody asks you about the possibility of placing them whether the nurse or family are the following first because this is part of ICU crush course although most of what we say apply to any patients with these equipments but in ICU intubated patients those patients on mechanical ventilated ventilation they are sedated and usually the nurses would like to put an OG tube right after intubation because they are remember sedated og tube or gastric tube mainly used or only used in sedated patients it's don't use it in an alert pay alert patient because they are awake it's so uncomfortable to put it through their mouth but sedated patients it's safer and technically easier to put an orogastric a tube so you will notice in ICU any patient on mechanical ventilation will have an NG or OG except if there is a contraindication to that which we will come to. So that's the first situation. The second situation, patients who can't swallow and uh, having difficulty swallowing or no, uh, he cannot safely swallow. So first of all, if there's no urgency to give this patient anything by mouth, we can wait two, three, four, up to seven days actually. I've had patients where we waited for seven days and eventually we put him on TPN because there was a contraindication to put an NG. The bottom line, if you feel the patient will be able to swallow safely in a day, two, three, you can wait and you can skip putting an NG and just wait until he swallow recovers or the speech therapist um clear him um usually what i do in real life i ask the speech therapist about what do you think uh, do you think he will be he will improve in the next day or two or not because sometimes they can tell you sometimes they can they say give me another day and let me reassess him here if there is an indication or um and urgent things you need to give him by mouth let's say somebody who just had a cardiac pci percutaneous intervention stent just had it and he's high and he needs his dual antiplatelets right like aspen or plavix whatever we give him brilenta whatever then don't wait go ahead and place an ng tube or og tube mainly ng of course in, in alert patients and um because you cannot skip these medications so you don't have to wait just go ahead so with medications that need to be given every day and cannot be missed go ahead and place an ng tube the third situation is somebody who's having small bowel obstruction uh, alias uh, gastric outlet obstruction uh, and they're having distension and vomiting so you put an ng tube and connect it to suction again this is important to know what you need the ng tube is it for nutrition for medication or for suction because that will decide what type right also another clinical situation and these um, as soon as the symptoms improve you need to take this ng tube as, as any equipment as soon as you don't need it you take it out so here if the patient start passing a uh, gas or flatus and he's not vomiting anymore and nothing coming out from the suction uh, minimal suction output and he has good bowel sounds no abdominal pain just take it out some people they do a clamp in the ng or og tube ng tube mainly in alert patient alert patients clamp it mean as if it's not there it's not functioning and see how the patient's symptoms if he remain asymptomatic you remove it and take it out remember take it out as soon as possible 
when whenever the indication is gone take it out the other indication I, i've never seen it is mainly in the ed so we don't deal with it which is gastric lavage for those who come to the ed with overdoses uh, so they do gastric lavage the other scenario you will see also in g tube mainly is post-op patients and this is usually sometimes we agree sometimes we disagree with the indication but it's usually mainly by general surgery surgery so usually we let them handle that don't remove it on your own always touch base with them if you feel the patient doesn't need it and always get there okay so they don't get mad or sometimes they know better than us so these are the main really uh, situations that you will be encountered while taking care of patients in ICU or on the wards where you may start thinking about an NG or OG tube remember as soon as the indication resolve take the NG tube out do not leave it longer than what it's needed for